Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to bring your July outlook, all right? As always, thank you, thank you to all the current and the new Soul Siren subscri subscribers on board. Amazing, thank you. I'm sorry I've been absent for a few weeks. The retrogrades just really took the legs from under me. Seriously, whoa, and I'm a cancer as well. So for those of you who understand that, you know where I've been. All right, so thanks for your patience. Thank you. Thank you for all the beautiful messages and all the healing remedies as well. I'm on my fruit, tea and honey. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I'm close to private readings at the minute. I'm sorry. I've got to catch up. I've rearranged some um, due to ill health. And I've also got a, um, an order book to complete. I've got update emails to get back to. So don't email me for a private reading. But those who have emailed me, I will be getting back to you if you still want that. All right. If you're new to the channel, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does, great. I hope it helps you. If it doesn't, kick it to the curb. Or if you know somebody it would help, please do share. All right, Virgo. Let's get the fuck on. I've already pre-blessed the deck. And can I say, Virgo, if, you know, you... Uh, oh, fucking hell... Right, I told you I was back. Right, um, if you are new to the channel and you do appreciate the reading, please do subscribe. I've just got to pick all these cards up that have just fired everywhere. Okay, right, and it's gorgeous, Virgo, absolutely gorgeous, because guess what? Look what just flew out, right? The Ace of Cups, boom, let's fucking go, right? This is gorgeous, because... Aces are gifts from spirit, okay, they are gifts from spirit and they are brought to us after we've done the work, you know, it's like, okay, you're ready, you're ready, let's go, right, that's what I feel, Virgo, you're ready, let's go, okay, so the Ace of Cups is here to say your dreams, your abundance is about to become reality, that's what I feel for this Virgo, because I feel like I'm connecting, fucking hell, there it is, yeah, I've got it, I've got it, thank you, I'm, I feel I'm dealing with a Virgo who's coming out of a really shitty situation, right, Knight of Swords, right, this can be a love relationship, right, it can be a friend, it can be a family member, it can be anything that, quite frankly, Virgo was fucking abusive, right, it, it wasn't in your greatest interest, it wasn't in your greatest good, can you see, his face looks mean as fuck, right, I don't want to play with that, yeah, that's not who I choose to be a friend, I certainly don't choose it to be a lover, right, and so, and so that is the sort of energy you're moving away from here, and can you see, we've got the eagle as well, and that always, always reminds me of the ace of swords, you know, another ace, a gift from spirit, and the ace of swords is about a brand new journey, and that's what I'm feeling for this Virgo, it's like, you know, even if you're still feeling despondent, right, down, upset, I see it here, five of wands, internally conflicted, you know, one minute I'm great, next minute I'm shit, you know, it's that sort of energy, I'm trying to clamber back out the catacombs, I'm trying to get back up the mountain, but I'm feeling, I'm fucking feeling it, and I can resonate with that, right, it, it's absolutely time that these are going to be laid to rest, because what you're going to see, Virgo, is this knight of swords was the one, the one that was constantly putting you in that five of wands energy, and Virgo says no more, no more, no, no more, I'm not doing it, I'm not playing that game, right, I am going to free myself, look at this, it's absolutely gorgeous, free myself, judgment here, can you see, flying through the gates, do you see it, yeah, flying through the gates towards your angels, it's like, I'll dance with the universe, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know if it's going to be successful or not, right, but I'm prepared to take the fucking gamble, because quite frankly, where I've been, has been no good for me, yeah, it's been shit, that's what Virgo says, right? This person does not fill me with love. They don't fill me with happiness. They don't fill me with joy. So why on earth am I playing in those energies? I'm going to take my chances, says Virgo, go into spirit. I'm going to take my chances and spin that wheel. Let's play, right? It's like the game shows, isn't it? When they, when they say, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to take the prize or are you going to gamble? And Virgo says, well, I've looked at the prize and it's shit. So actually I'll gamble, right? And that's what Virgo's doing. Yeah, I'm spinning that crazy wheel. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, now, beautiful for you. I see it. Wow. 
Right, just one minute, they've flown again. Right. I've obviously got a lot of pent-up energy now where I'm back refreshed, aren't I? I'm back refreshed and energised. Watch out. Shit. Right, here we go. Yeah, tower. That's what sent those fly in. The tower. Tower came down on a situation, Virgo, that was holding you back. So I want to say to you, even if, right, even if you're in a space where you're still hurting, you're still coming to terms with it, you still, I want to say, you know, in your emotional thinking of how could they do that to me? How could someone hurt me in that way? Or why has someone got it against me? You know, because some people just fucking have, right? There's dark energy out there. There's a lot of it, right? Virgo, this tower came down for a reason, right? It was protection. That's what I feel. God came in, the divine, and brought this tower down, right? Rejection is God's protection, and that's what it is. Tower coming down to get you moving forward to your Ace of Cups. So it was taking you, coming under this Knight of Swords here, look, Five of Swords. This is a Virgo who has been continually fucking battling. That's what I want to say, battling. Yeah, whether it's yourself, whether it's the people around you, whether it's, you know... A lover can be, but it's been a constant battlefield. And can you see, fucking exhausted, absolutely exhausted. It's like I'm struggling to get back up all the bloody time with the drama, uh, the noise, the mess. I'm just struggling, says Virgo. I'm not doing it. I can't fight you anymore. Don't want to fight you anymore. You know, it's not about proving who's the strongest. It's not about proving who's going to win this battle, who's going to win this game. Life shouldn't be about that. What a waste of bloody energy right it should be about saying look <laughs> i've got a goal here i've got something i want to do that's going to make me really fucking happy so guess what i'm gonna to have to get up and even though i'd hoped virgo says even though i'd hoped this was going to be you you were going to bring this to me i've now realized you're not and because of that i'm moving on says virgo right moving the fuck on yeah four of swords healing absolutely can you see it's like See here, this is the Knight of Swords. Right, I'm not playing with you anymore. I'm not playing with you anymore. Your, en your energy is not good for me. It's bloody dangerous and I need to move on because I'm giving you all my light and what's been happening here, Virgo? What happens sometimes in relationships, if, if you're the one giving all the light, right, you know, you're like... Let me put it this way, Virgo, you know, you, you come home from work and you're shattered and you've had your own busy day with your own challenges and then you walk into this person and you just spend tea or dinner, whatever you call it, talking about the shit, right? And at no point do they say, no, it was your day. You know, that's just taking your light. It's like more drain on you. You don't fucking need it. No, you don't. How can I manifest? Right, how can I manifest when I'm sitting putting up with your bullshit? No, says Virgo, eight of swords here. I don't sit in a web of deceit and lies. I don't do it. I heal from it. Judgment, release me. And it's like this is coming under your judgment, right? And this is exactly what's happened or is happening, Virgo. Because you've literally said, divine, I see you've got me. I see you've got my soul. Let's move this forward. Can you take me on? Please, can you take me on? I want to say take me on. I don't mean recruit you. I mean take you on, take you forward, right? That's what it is. This Virgo says enough is enough, right? I know I'll survive without this, but this person is disrespecting me. Yeah, they're disrespecting me. They're not treating me to the value that I am. And the reason that can happen as well, Virgo, is when you're with this type of energy, it can bring your value down in yourself so you don't value yourself as well as you should. And because of that, nor do they right because the confident you're always going to be there you're going to put up with the shit you know no 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 virgo squirreled out that's what i feel virgo squirreled out right i feel this is a virgo who has been investing in themselves whether it's behind the scenes right because you've not felt able to be open about it or you've just you've just been getting your ideas together to make your escape but can you see the traveller's cloak here do you see the three ones right two is about stepping through and a, a, a brand new pathways and choosing a pathway that the divine has opened up to you right and that brings your abundance and this is a virgo whose ships are about to come in because you face the moon you face the dark you faced your scary things and that's where it's all coming in so virgo if i'm dealing with someone coming out of an absolute shit storm now 
right? That's what I feel I'm connecting with. And you're feeling it's still a bit dry land, right? Dry land, don't worry. The wheel is turning and your ships are coming in, baby. They're coming in because you stood up. You stood up to be counted, right? You stood up to say, dark, dark energy does not live with me and I'm not prepared to accept it because it brings me the fuck down. I'm not having it, says Virgo. It's absolutely fucking gorgeous, right? And got three fly out yeah lovely i'm going after my ace of pentacles yeah and this is a virgo who's going to massively succeed that's what i'm connecting with massively succeed because again we've now got where are we an ace two aces on the board we had the ace of cups now we've got the ace of pentacles what more do you want this is finances this is love it's joy it's happiness right you're about to go through that new doorway because you walked away yeah eight of cups i've walked away i'm not sitting i'm sorry i do feel as well i have to say to you with this knight of swords with the, with the energies i'm seeing these ones always come back right for a play they always come back for a playwright just to see where you're up to. But Virgo, I think you're going to be like, you know, fuck you. I'm not interested, right? Not interested. Because this is a Virgo who's taken the pain, embraced the pain and grown, right? And by growing, you now know what you will accept and what you won't accept. And that's the massive footway, foothold towards the Empress or the Emperor, depending where you are, right? Walking away, yeah, to my wish fulfillment, says Virgo, nine of cups. I do feel, Virgo, you've stepped into your power. You really, really have stepped into your power. You know who you are. You know who you're about. You know what you'll put up with. And, you know, the, the retrogrades at the moment are a time of great reflection, aren't they? And bringing toxic energy to the fore. And sometimes, you know, that can bring, bring your energy down a bit, you know. <laughs> right, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. But you found your way. Look, fucking hell. I've got three aces now. Ace of Wands, absolutely, Virgo. You found your way or you're finding your way. This is the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. It's another ace, which is a gift from spirit. But it's like my passion, my fires are starting to burn again. Bringing in, like we said, where's he gone? That beautiful abundance. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. I've realised, like the fool, I've realised I create my own abundance. Because if you think about the fool card as well... I would say, you know, he's like he's got his own ace of wands, right? He or she, doesn't matter. Own ace of wands. And it's like, I've realised, actually, I make myself happy. I'm not reliant on someone else to make me happy. That's not how this flows, right? I do it for myself. And when I do it for myself, anyone else who comes along is a compliment. I told you, I don't deal with jokers anymore. I do not deal with jokers anymore. I am the fool. I carry my own ace of wands. Gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so virgo this is someone who's leaving shit energy behind yeah no matter how much it hurts you're like i don't stay in it i'm moving forward i don't know what the future holds which i know is true for a lot of people at the moment it's very difficult circumstances but it's like you're getting a sense of inside yourself of how to believe in yourself how to focus forward how to move towards the truth yeah I can be me because the only person who won't let me down is me, right? And I'm not saying that doesn't mean you don't have trusted relationships or partnerships. Of course you do. Let's take a sip of my fruit tea. Thank you. Mm. But, but, Virgo says, right, at the end of the day, whereas before I may have been... Um, completely invested in a relationship like I held everything to make me happy on it now I realize I hold at least 85% of my own happiness I'll give you 15% because if you walk away 15% you know it won't kill me right doesn't mean to say you're not mutually loving and giving you are but until you really really trust in it you're not going to give your all but you've also been awakened into a different realm the fool here and you know that you are your, your key to your success, your key to your happiness, your key to your passion and your key to your abundance. And that's what this Virgo has discovered on this. What I want to say with the Knight of Swords is a painful journey. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, High Priestess here, listening to your intuition, connected to spirit. Yeah, wise now, 
wise now. I don't feel the need to react. I take my time. I take the information in and I've learned how to respond, says Virgo. Yeah, and I respond in a way to say, is this part of my great journey or is it not? If it's not, fuck off. If it is, come on in. But I'm no fool. I'm no fool. It's absolutely gorgeous, Virgo. Right, wow, wow, wow. Look, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Queen of Cups here, yeah? Big lesson, you know it, that the Queen of Cups has to learn is not to keep over giving to others, not being a people pleaser. You know, where I, I, I look at how happy you are. I look at what I can give to you. I look at, you know, what you need at an expense to myself. No, no, says Virgo. And that, my darling, is the first step toward the Empress. Oh, God, just look at this. If you're male, the Emperor, right? Coming out together, absolutely stunning. Right, this is, I feel there's two stories here. In terms of the same story, but one for a male and one for a female, who are growing into the Empress and the Emperor. That's what I feel, Virgo. And look, soulmates, absolutely stunning absolutely stunning these two are coming together having been through their own individual life lessons i don't think virgo you've met this person yet i think it's as you go on this this journey yeah scary journey sometimes yeah relying on yourself being responsible for yourself growing yourself as indeed whether it's the empress or the emperor in their um journey are doing then you come together as equals absolutely beautiful virgo i fucking love it for you so keep doing what you're doing and trust trust in what your intuition saying to your high priestess here as well with the empress you are making your growth or the emperor you are making your growth allow it to happen and trust it it's absolutely beautiful right sorry i'm just looking for my furries to crown the reading that's what I feel, Virgo. Right? It's joy, happiness, and abundance. You've three aces on the deck. You've got the wheel of fortune. This person from your past, absolute joker. You've learned how to deal with them and you've learned what you will and won't accept. And that is the key. And remember, you don't get Empress or Emperor unless you've been through one hell of a hell ride. <laughs> right? A hell ride. Yeah, look at this. Gorgeous. Right? Beautiful. Release. Let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities and time to move on. And that's what I feel this Virgo's doing. Releasing the past, knowing who you are and moving forward, right? And then we get Princess of Spring, which is absolutely gorgeous, right? It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons and let your creativity take flight. And that, my darlings, is the fool, right? absolutely gorgeous so it's a virgo who's stepping in the power taking their energy back for themselves not looking back accepting the shit for what it was releasing it and saying you know what all my energy is about me and i'm going after my dreams and i don't know where the fuck i'm going to get the fool here but i'm trusting the universe and i'm just going to start knitting daily yeah towards it absolutely lovely virgo oh my gosh what a beautiful reading yeah i'm going to leave it there my love Lovely Virgos, um, because I'm just getting the part. I'm just doing quick readings to get the Julys out there. So hopefully, I'm building myself back up um, after the retrograde. Oh, right to um, to get the part ones and part twos out and everything else. But at the minute, like I said. I can't accept any more private readings at the moment, but what's in the inbox I will look at and deal with. Thank you for your patience with me. Uh, I didn't see it coming and it got me. There you go, right? And uh, you are moving into your power. Empress, Emperor here, releasing the past and getting your dreams in order, the fool. Stay strong, Virgo. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Um, I'll, um, I'm not, as I say, I'm not doing part twos, but I will be back in about a week's time because I'm coming up to full motor. Um, so we can start to put them in there. But other than that, Virgo, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Help us keep the channel running. Other than that, I'll see you in a week's time. Thank you, my gorgeous. I hope it helped.